In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the plugins that I'm using currently in my IntelliJ IDEA setup. So let's begin. Here I am in the plugins tab installed once. And if I show you the downloaded plugins that I have, the first one in the list is dot ignore which is a JetBrains plugin and once you have installed that plugin you can create ignore files a large variety of that pretty quickly so here i am i can create a git ignore file or any other uh, ignore file based on certain templates defined so quite useful so for example if i create a npm ignore file so these are all options that i'm getting i can select whatever is relevant from this list and generate that back to the plugins list next one is ascii doc ascii doc is a text document format uh, similar to formats like markdown quite useful for technical documentations so for example once you have installed this plugin you can create a new ascii doc file let me create a test one and if i write something here as you can see, I'm getting this preview pane and there will be a lot of other features available. As you can see here, these are the different list that I'm getting here. If you are new to ASCII doc, I highly recommend you to explore the features. Next in the list is a theme and this is a light theme and a dark theme. Both are from JetBrains. I have installed a few other themes as well. So for example, this one jerry themes or gary themes however you pronounce it has a lot of nice dark themes particularly suited for the new ui and in case if you haven't explored the new ui this was experimentally rolled out in the newer version of the id and you can en enable that from settings uh, by taking this enable new ui and this is going to be the default one uh, going ahead once they come out of beta so i'm particularly liking it so far it has kind of a minimalist flavor um let me give you a quick tour of the themes so if i just go to theme so here i can do a quick switch and as you can see these are the ones after the themes now we have inf file this is a plugin which is pretty useful if you are using env files key value properties file if not then you can simply skip that and the next ones in the list are language framework supports from JetBrains I'm using the ultimate edition of IntelliJ so go go template then I do have Python as well as Ruby just to enable the syntax and other coding support when I'm writing code in this programming languages if you are using the community edition this won't be available because these are paid ones anyway i think we do have different other ids for that such as visual studio code going to the next one on the list is grip console let me run this here so this is going to fail because i'm not running anything as such but just to show you option to change the grip console settings and as you can see it has a lot of features in order to quickly find out like if you have a fatal error or kind of a warning you can color those as you can see i have highlighted this section now next one is again a support for juice which is google's dependency injection framework then we have java doc here i want to generate some java doc for this so i get these options added here now jetbrains do have certain shortcuts to generate java doc for example if i so i get the default template of the java doc this plugin has some other useful options that you can try out it has generated all the different options here we come to the next plugin which is json helper at times you may have this requirement to minify a json 
so this plugin will come handy you don't have to switch to any other tools or you can prettify a json escape uh, characters or you can unescape the JSONs as well next one in the list is a famous plugin if you want to learn the keyboard shortcuts then this key promoter x plugin is very useful so how it works it basically gives you a pop-up saying that hey this is a shortcut you could have used instead of doing it manually for example if i try to run this then i get this key promoter x pop-up saying that hey you could have done this by this and in case if you're on windows you'll obviously get the windows and you can disable the alerts and it shows that how many times i have missed and there are some other options as well that you can enable and see uh, if you are improving your productivity this is a cool plugin and i re highly recommend this one i have a make file plugin which gives me option for the syntax highlighting of make files keyboard keyword and target name completions and stuff like that so if you don't use make files i think you can ignore that and if you use maven i think this maven helper plugin is going to help you um, it has a easy way for analyzing and excluding conflicting dependencies with this plugin i get this dependency analyzer and i can quickly analyze all the dependencies from this list if there are any conflicts and here is a cute plugin to replace the default progress bar i'm right now in the presentation mode but as you can see this is the nan progress bar running i have a powershell plugin which adds the powershell intelligence and script execution which is cool then the presentation assistant now since i am recording and i'm using keyboard shortcuts so at times you might wonder like how that window was opened how this command was invoked presentation assistant shows you everything if i open the terminal for example so it says the terminal was opened using this shortcut then i have sonar lint plugin now sonar lint is coming from sonar source sonar cube is a very famous platform for static core analysis and linting and it is very helpful before you push your code you can just do a quick check if there are any errors or stuff like that so for example i have some code smell which sonar lint quickly captures saying that okay hey this block of commented outline of course should be removed if i just uncomment that then as you can see it'll automatically refresh the window and find out that okay this is not used so it says that remove this useless assignment so once i do that it quickly reruns and says we are all good very useful i think you should give it a try and last but not the least in this list is string manipulation now string manipulation is a nice plugin if you have to do a lot of string related uh, operations so for example here i want to change the case so i go to string manipulation i say hey switch case to something like that there are a lot of other options quote unquote swap filter remove stream minify and escape unescape encode decode whatnot so this one again is a highly recommended plugin that was all a quick tour of different plugins that i'm using and getting value of. i hope you probably have found out a couple of new plugins to try out and hopefully that will increase your productivity hope you like the video if yes do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you